Hey, Sneaker Nerds back again. Back, 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 back again. Another little quick one for you. Somebody mailed me and said uh, about using Voco screen and they don't know how to use it. It's quite really simple, really. And I'm going to give a quick go through for you, okay? Just the basic features of Voco screen, which is one of the most decent screen recording programs out there at the moment. It's available for most distributions, and if not, you can compile it yourself if you really want to. So, anyway. We'll go down to multimedia, and we'll go down to Vulcan screen. We're going to open them up for you. And this is the main screen you get. Now, I'm using an older version at the moment. I've just not upgraded to the newer version, so I might do that later. I think we're on 1.8 at the moment. <clears throat> now, the first screen you get is this one here. Oh, yes, indeed. So, this is the, the screen screen, if you know what I mean. The screen screen, focus screen. Oh, yeah. Well, you get a choice of full screen, a windowed area, or an area itself, so you can make that bigger if you want to. So I just go down there, move it along, or whatever you want to. Just record whatever one you want to do, really. But I always record full screen. You can record whatever you like. Other options you get here: if you've got a webcam, you can have as many webcams as you want. Actually, I think it supports up to two or three webcams. Most current one does it anyway. And you also get a magnification tool. Yes, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Which you can actually activate by Control Shift F9 while you're recording, if you really want to. And what that actually does is you get a magnification thing here. So you can see where your arrow is, it will actually go along like that. So if I go over here, you can see it's magnifying all my little icons over there, including Steam, War Thunder, Vendetta, and all of Okay, we'll turn that off. Yeah, like that. nice and easy. The next screen we have is the audio screen. Now I'm actually recording from a USB microphone, so I've got that ticked. But say you wanted to record, say, a game audio as well, you'd tick monitor the built-in audio of your analogue stereo. Well, I would here. But you would get an option to tick what you want to. I've also got a mo an option here to monitor my high-definition audio digital controller, which is on my graphics card, apparently. Yeah. But you get an option to record as many as you like. Bearing in mind, if you're going to record more than two inputs, you're going to have to fiddle around with the levels. Otherwise, one's going to be louder than the other, basically, at the end of the day. It supports Pulse and Alsa, by the way, so it's hunkily of the dory. No big deal. All right. right, our third option is our frames per second, our codex, and our format. Okay. Now, if we go to default, the default is 25 frames a second. And if we go to default here, it's MKV. Now, the codex, let's, let's just is MPEG-4, which is fine for me. No big deal at all. Works out of the tin. But remember, if you've got a nice big screen like me, which is 1920 by 1080, your older machine may struggle. But if you've got a laptop or a small, a small screen, you'll have no problems whatsoever recording whatever you want to. But say you are, have got a large screen, or you've got a really old machine, only single core, and it's struggling, if you take the screen recording down to, say, 18, if you're just doing a quick one, that should suffice most of it. The other code that you can use is a LibX264, but I found that MPEG-4 does the job anyway. And MKV is probably the most preferred format, okay? Remember, it's just a shell. It's not actually the format. It's MKV or AVI. But MKV is the one that's better. Okay. Next, the video path, or where you want to save the videos, basically. And this, these get saved to my videos, so that's fine by me. And it will come up with OCO screen and the date and time and stuff like that. All right. You also get options for what to play back in. So double F play or VLC is my options here. But I never actually play back through the program. I play back through an external program. So yeah. You also get a little box here. If you tick it, a Voco screen will minimise and you'll just get the little icons up here on the top bar. Or if you're using else, it might be on the bottom bar. Yeah, it could be either. You know what I'm saying? Right, finally, this is not really a screen, but it's just how you can get to the Google Groups, the home support page, the support email, and the developer. Mr. Man, nice guy. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So if we go to the home page, just quickly, and we'll show you what we mean. I'll we'll just go to British. You get an option. There we go, we're on 1.8.0 at the moment, and as you can see, it does loads and loads and loads and loads of stuff. Detect your webcams, hot keys, magnify by zoom in, I've just shown you all the things you can do. Lovely. Auto hide feature, it says only KD and known, but it also works in XFCE and LXDE. Lovely, it's super duper. And yeah, everything else I've just told you about. It's for 64 and 32 bits, so everything should work fine for you. If you do find you having a bit of lag or something like that, you've just got to take the frame rate down. It all depends on your processor and what you're using at the end of the day. But yeah, that's a quick overrun of a Voco screen. Nice. It's really easy to use. Go and give it a go. Get to the website, download it, it'll be there for you. Nice. Sneaky Linux Gang Out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.